Hello, my friends. Today is Thursday. Um, I just got done filming an Ipsy video for you guys. I got my first Ipsy bag of this year. I haven't done Ipsy in like three years, so I decided new year, treat yourself. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so, got my first Ipsy bag yesterday. Just recorded a video, and I just made some coffee. So this brand Taste reached out to me on Instagram last week and um, asked to partner with me. So I said yes, you know, I wanted to try it. And um, right now I made a vintage vanilla cream. Um, I did add um, some more creamer to it. I cannot drink like black coffee, but uh, so this is how the pods come. They are 100% uh, compostable. This brand is all about being eco-friendly. Um, so it's like, they're kind of in like this mesh and it fits right into your Keurig. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I got, um, with the box that I got, um, I did opt for a pod container so I do have all my pods in there I opted for the box that you can have I think 60 pods and I opted for the um the flavored one so I got the medium and heroic and vintage vanilla cream um and it came with this tote that says save the earth it's the only planet with coffee and of course I got this super cute mug um, I also got this handwritten note. Um, I have no idea if they send this to everybody or if it's just because they reached out to me. But I thought that this was super sweet. It says, Shana, we love the message you're spreading through your social and we think you'll love taste. Uh, taste, sip, and enjoy our fully compostable, earth-friendly coffee, Craig and Greg. Um, another cool thing um, that I saw on their website, uh, so because these pods are like a mesh, you can put several of these pods in um, like a glass of water and put it in your fridge overnight or a few hours, however long. And you can make a cold brew with these just by putting the whole pod in the cup of water. So I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, I do have a code if you guys want to also try this and get 25% off of... Um, your order, which this is a subscription box, I don't think you have to do it every month. I believe there are options to skip, you know, and just get whenever you want it. Um, so my code is Shayna23. No. My code is Shayna25 to get 25% off your order. Uh, just go to taste.com. I will also link it down below if you guys are interested. So, yeah, I... I think that this vanilla one tastes really good. They also have a hazelnut one, um, which did not come in my box, which I thought since I clicked the flavored one, I thought I would get the vanilla and the hazelnut, um, but I did not. I got the medium and heroic, uh, which is a darker roast, it looks like, than the vanilla one. Uh, these bags are compostable, the pods are compostable, uh, the lid is made out of bamboo. So yeah, I think that this is an awesome brand. Uh, looks like they are doing great things. Someone went into heat this morning and isn't feeling good. And she's mad that I put her diaper on her. It's okay, baby. It's okay. She's so mad at me. She wouldn't even look at me earlier whenever I put her diaper on. <laughs> she just sat next to me looking in the opposite direction. She's like, Mom, I'm mad. Leave me alone. So, I also have some good news to share with you guys. So exciting. We bought us a Jeep. She is, or he, is a 2013 Sport. It's drizzling outside, <laughs> which is why um, I came into the Jeep, but here she is. So she does have 92,000 miles on her, or him, whatever. 
Um, her name is Firefly, but I think Dylan is going to rename it to Beast. But she is real nice inside. She does have a uh, manual uh, windows and locks, but that's okay. Um, I feel like very, it's very spacious. Um, we definitely needed something different. Dylan's truck is just um, old and, you know, just starting to have problem after problem. And so Dylan really needed a different vehicle. So here we are. Um, I feel like we did get a really good deal. Um, I'm not going to say, you know, how much, but I do feel like it was a really good deal. Um, but yeah, we love him a lot. Um, it does have a, I think, a four and a half lift four and a half inch lift on it um and i think the tires are 37s um we have already joined some jeep clubs <laughs> but we are so excited to finally have a jeep uh we have been talking for like our entire relationship about getting a jeep specifically for me <laughs> but dylan needed a new vehicle before i needed a new vehicle so we got this one for him and then Maybe whenever we get this one paid off, we'll get me one. Um, our goal is for Dylan's to be called Beast and mine to be Beauty. Um, but that'll be at least like five years in the future uh, after we get this one paid off. Uh, we did get a five year loan. But yeah, we are super excited. Um, I was planning on washing it um and like surprising Dylan whenever he gets home because he's been wanting to give it a bath but it's kind of raining it's not supposed to rain all day though um it's supposed to stop within like an hour and then it's supposed to be sunny the next few days so we'll see I still might give it a bath seems like the rain is already subsiding <laughs> tidy up the house, um, edit my Ipsy video. I had to put Celine in her crate because she is being such a wild child. She does not like her diaper on. So she just like runs around bumping into everything, you know, like freaking out because she has her diaper on. I came in the house after washing the Jeep. Our couch was completely moved. She has knocked things over. So I'm going to give her some time in the crate, let her cool down for a while, um, get the house straightened up. Um, I don't know what time Nolan's going to get off. It's like, it's 2.30. Um, so yeah, we'll see what I can get done. Bye. All right, friends. So we just got back from Piggly Wiggly. Um, so I saw a recipe on Facebook for like air fried steak and mushrooms. Uh, so we got the Angus beef uh, boneless for like stews and the sliced mushrooms. And all you need is Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and I am gonna add in a little bit of thyme because we love thyme in this house. Um, and you just like mix it all in a bowl together and then put it in the air fryer on 400 for about, it says 10 to 18 minutes. It just depends on how thick your steak is. You know, some are thicker than others. So we're gonna try it and we're gonna see. Breaking news, I forgot to mention we need melted butter. 
So this is how it turned out. It looks so delicious. We've also got the buttery garlic and herb, I think, mashed potatoes and some green beans. Dylan is not a fan of mushrooms, so he just has some of the steak, but I love me some mushrooms. Hello, my friends. We are very dark. Um, we are on the way to Chili's to get some dinner. And then we're gonna get some groceries. Today is Friday, what, the 23rd? No, today's the 22nd, Friday the 22nd. Oh, I look scary like that. Anyways, yeah, bye. Hello, my friends. We just went to one of our friend's house to pick up some baby goodies and we're on the way to my BFF Lauren's house to drop them off. Um, what are you doing with your hands? Just copying you. Oh. Um, so, today is Saturday. On Monday, she will be 30 weeks pregnant, but last Sunday at 28 weeks and 6 days, her water broke. Um, but baby is still in her and doing amazing. So, still in her. Well, still in her belly. Uh, so they've been like delaying the labor. Uh, she hasn't had any contractions. They've been giving her shots to, you know, help the baby develop and everything. Um, so we did not get to have a baby shower for her. So one of our other friends had a lot of stuff that she wanted to give Lauren, so we just picked that up. Lauren lives an hour away, so we are road tripping into her house to drop it off, and then we are road tripping to Carthage, Carthage which is two and a half hours away, to a Jeep meet and pick picking. <laughs> so that should be fun. Ooh, sharp curve. Bye guys. All right, so we just got done eating. We are leaving our Jeep meet and greet and now we are going to a courthouse to take some photos and we are all rolling deep. Um, I don't think, I can't show you who's behind us. Tire's too big. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived at the mural that we are taking photos in front of. We all got stopped at a um, a light though so we kind of broke our bond <laughs> but we're here and there's a few more behind us there's more coming up sure. yeah there's more coming because there were more than just two behind us they might have got stopped at a light too hello again friends it is a new day dylan is chopping some bacon we whipped out our instapot for the very first time we got this as a wedding gift have not used it yet but we are making some homemade loaded potato soup. What are you doing now? She's venting all the pressure. Yeah. Okay, sorry, go ahead. What do you have to do? Uh, whenever it's done, I have to open it and then put it on saute mode and Add the... mash up potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then stir in some more butter, salt, pepper, flour, and whisk everything. And then stir in milk and sour cream, and then bring it to a simmer. Nice. Yeah, and then just add the bacon and cheese and a dollop of sour cream. So I guess we don't even like sour cream. I don't know what the celebration is, but someone over there is shooting off some fireworks. Hello again, friends. Haha, <laughs> hello. So, guess what? Got our HelloFresh box today. Um, I accidentally skipped this week, or no. I accidentally forgot to skip this week for our HelloFresh box. So, I got another box, but that's okay. So, let's see what's in it. All right, so this is our uh, HelloFresh box this week. Um, our first meal is the fully loaded pork taquitos with pico de gallo, creamy guacamole, and hot sauce. Um, so basically, it comes with everything in these bags. It sends you the meat. 
looks like it comes with uh, the tortillas, the cheese, uh, the tomato, lime, onion, um, the sauces. Looks like uh, maybe sour cream or something in here. Yep, sour cream, two things of sour cream. I um, guess this is uh, some powder, like for the blend um, seasoning sauce or something. Oh yeah, Southwest Spice. Um, yeah. We also got some classic guacamole. So see, like it comes with everything um, that you need. Now, of course, for these meals, if you need like salt and pepper, um, regular at home stuff, like you will need that. Um, our next one is Italian chicken over at Lemony Spaghetti with zucchini and chili flakes. That looks delicious. Of course, comes with, you know, everything and the chicken. Our next one is mozzarella stuffed Caprese burgers with griddled tomato, creamy pesto, and potato wedges. And I can tell y'all right now that this is probably going to be my favorite meal. It looks so good. Um, HelloFresh also sends, um, like some coupons, like... Uh, here's one for like a free Miss Myers gift set. Um, here's a card for a $100 wine voucher. And um, like this one is for uh, science and art projects uh, for kids. Um, we won't be using any of these. Maybe, um, maybe this one. Her products are nice. But yeah, I am so excited. Um, I don't know which one we're going to make tonight. Tonight is Thursday. Um, but yeah, I can tell you guys, like, I've never had a bad meal with HelloFresh. Um, I will link my um, referral code below. I love HelloFresh. The only problem is that sometimes it's a little bit pricey, but you can skip whenever you want. So, like, they have, like, the whole menu for, like, a month or so maybe more, and you can skip whatever weeks you don't want it, you can set your delivery date, um, stuff like that. They have a whole menu, I think, with like 15 different meals that you can choose from, and depending on what box you get, like you can choose like either three meals or four meals, I think. Um, I just do the classic box, so we get three meals, um, two servings, three meals. Um, it's about $60 a box that we get. Um, of course, the bigger box you go, the more expensive it'll be. So that's why I said it is kind of pricey if you do the box every single week. We, I only do the box like once every few months, to be honest. And this time and the last time, it was just because I forgot to skip the box because, you know, times are tough. You know, you can't always afford to buy a $60 box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for dinner, Dylan made us the pork tamales no, with what? Not tamales. Taqui what is it? Taquitos. Taquito. <laughs> pork taquitos with the uh, tomatoes and guac. And what else? Some hot sauce. Let's try it. What are your thoughts and opinions? Dylan is already on his second one, and I am still on my first one. <laughs> All right, friends. Tonight, I made the mozzarella stuffed Caprese burgers, and it looks and smells amazing. We did um, use some of our own potatoes as well. Some of the potatoes they sent me were a little bit small, but that's okay. Still love them, though.